Grand Old Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Montgomery Blair, born in Kentucky on May 10, 1813. He graduated from West Point and served during the Seminole War. He then studied law. Democrat President Franklin Pierce named him a solicitor for the U.S. Court of Claims. In 1857, Blair was attorney for Dred Scott, the slave whose bid for freedom advanced development of the Republican Party. Breaking with the Slavery Party, Blair campaigned for Abraham Lincoln. This first Republican in the White House appointed him Postmaster General. The position was more influential than would seem nowadays, as he advised the President on all matters and hired thousands of party loyalists. His innovations included uniform postage rates, railway postal cars, and calling for the first international postal conference. Page 86 of Back to Basics for the Republican Party explains that in 1864, President Lincoln replaced Blair and two other cabinet officers with radical Republicans, more inclined to complete eradication of not just slavery, but of the slave system. July that year, Confederates burned down his house in Silver Spring, Maryland. Back to Basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.